Hello, my name is uh, Leo Peña from Peña Refrigeration in Houston, Texas, and thank you for coming back. Uh, on this video, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot the famous three beeps on the uh, Hochisaki ice machine. Uh, sometimes uh, we change the water valve and we still get in the three beeps. Sometimes we change the float and it's still having the same problem. We change the uh, contactor and still haven't fin been able to fix it. So we're running out of options. So more likely what it's going to be is your board. Even it works for a few hours, few days, and then suddenly it start giving you the three beeps again. Customer call you upset and and you don't know what to do. So more likely it's gonna be your board. Now the board is kind of expensive, it's over two hundred dollar. And sometimes you don't wanna go and buy a new board and to see just to see if it's gonna work or not. So what I will recommend you, and this is what I I also this is what I do. I get uh, the relays for the board. And so I'm gonna show you how to repair the board like in uh, five minutes. Um, I get this uh, for dollar fifty two dollars relays. I will let you know where to get them. And that's what it is. It's just uh, a board. So I would recommend you to have a, a one or two boards on your truck rebuilt. That way whenever you have a problem like that you don't have to go and buy a new board uh, just to test it. So you rebuild one, you put it on, and if it works for a few days, and then you come back and put a new one. Um, this, this, this is what I do. I, I usually keep like two or three on my truck. Um, I always come back with a new one and replace it. This is just for uh, temporarily. Now the the problem with the uh, with the board, if it is a problem that is giving you the three beeps, that's what it's going to be. Because sometimes. Um, you shut the machine off, you put it on the off position, and the machine keeps running, and you change the uh, relay, and it's still doing the same thing, so this is what it's going to be also, the, the relay. Now, if it is another problem, and then uh, don't mess with it, but more likely, if that's what it is, it's giving you the three beeps, or the machine don't shut off, more likely it's going to be your relay. And that's the one on the very bottom, that's the one that controls the contactor, to make the compressor start. So that's the, the very last one on the bottom, the uh, X1. So this is this applies to, I would say, to all the uh, all the boards, because uh, it's the same same uh, same board. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, we're gonna need. And this is what I use. I use uh, just a utility knife. And I used uh, one of these uh, uh, sharp uh, point uh, metal. Uh, you can use an ice pick if you want to. Just make sure it's very, very sharp at the end. I found this one. I don't even know where, but uh, this is what I use. It's pretty handy. Uh, solder, uh, paste, and my soldering gun uh, for electronics. It's also kind of pointed. Okay, so I just turn it on and uh, start getting hot. It needs to be very hot. And like I said, uh, I will let you know where to get the uh, relays. Okay, let's get started. First of all, what I do is I stick uh, my knife. You got five terminals. One, two, three, four, five. So I usually stick it on the back and uh, put pressure in it to start melting the uh, solder. Okay, little by little you do one then do the other one and then come back and do the other one and it's kinda releasing so okay so whenever I have a little more space in it and then I can come back with the with my screwdriver the packet screwdriver and stick it in there to get more pressure okay so I can do it again and it's coming up okay so already on one side now you go to the other end of the relay 
and do the same thing. Remember, it's three terminals, and it's coming out. Okay, it's very easy. See, already come out. So next, uh, next thing that you're gonna do, we're gonna try to clean the the holes, so that way we can stick the other one with no problem. So I, what I will do, I usually start with the uh, with the ones on the back, clean it up real good, and then go to the next one, clean it real good, open it all the way, go to the next one, and the next one. Like I said, you can use anything long as it's sharp uh, and the same, you know, so you can stick it in the in the board to open it. That's that's all it is, just to to open it. Now you see it's, it's open all the way, all five terminals. That way you won't have any problems sticking the new one in. And this is the new one. And we're just gonna put it, stick it in here. Let's see here. Okay. One of the legs is kind of bending. I'm, I'm just gonna get another one with a straight. Okay, one, it still needs to be open a little bit. So, I'm gonna do it this time, I'm gonna do it from the front. Because one didn't open all the way. So I do it from one from the back. And then I do it from the front. The thing is that you need to open it all the way. That, that, that's all it is about. It's, uh, it's nothing. You can use uh, your imagination to do it. See now? It went all the way. So now you turn it over and we're gonna solder it back one by one. One, this two, and we're done. Ready. So with a couple of bucks, you replace a couple of hundred dollar board, like I said, temporarily. So you can uh, you can test the machine. You don't have to spend a couple of hundred dollars on the board. And this is a uh, this is all it is. Now this is remember this is this relay is only for the uh, that's the one that 90% uh, of the time goes bad on the computer board. And it's for the compressor now. The other one is for the pump, the hot gas valve, and the water valve. So, but the the only one that I have seen going bad, uh, like 90% of the time, that's the one for the compressor, which is this one. Okay. So I hope uh, this video will be helpful for you. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Thank you.